My name is Andy Chafin, and I am the assistant instructor here at the Blue River Ninjutsu Dojo on Ground Shoot Chris Jackson. And uh, today, me and Guyman are going to be doing a, a drill today that we give to the lower belts in our organization. Now, we have a lot of different methods on how we spar here at the Buddha Root. We do uh, the competition through Nagi Waza or throws. We do the competition through like a Timmy Waza or strikes. We also do, uh, you know, ground fighting where it's just, you know, tap out or black out if you just want to view it like an MMA standards. Uh, we also uh, compete with each other, uh, with, against each other with weaponry. Uh, but today, right now, uh, to, to, as a precursor for all of that, what we do is that we start off with what's called a position drill. Now it's very basic and very simple in the sense that it's a little more, it's a little uh, lower impact compared to everything else in the sense that me and Guyman are already going to be on the ground. We're going to be on our knees and then we're going to uh, clinch up in what's called commute and then at that point the objective is to get uh, the, uh, the opposition uh, on their back or on their stomach, it, it, whatever you can be considered an advantageous position. Now the trick for this is that it requires a, the develop of technique. When you are a smaller, undersized, under strength, you're not going to be able to all of a sudden just be able to muscle your opponent to victory. You have to at that point be able to develop technique and to win. So if you're undersized or under strength, then don't be discouraged when you're going to find yourself at a disadvantage. It's something that you're, just, you're going to have to trial and error and through training be able to figure out how to be able to use your body and uh, apply uh, what you consider your strengths and to be able to, to beat your opponent. Uh, me and Guy are going to be doing a couple of examples, and I'm going to be showing it in this video. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so we're, uh, when we start off with uh, doing the positioning drill, what we're going to do is that we're going to first battle each other. And then we're going to clinch up what's called Kamiyush. Now, uh, in order to beat your opponent, what you have to do is you either have to get them on their back or on their stomach, whatever it would be considered a win. So if we're here, this would be considered a win. Now, if I push him down my stomach, we him up. This would also be considered a win. Now, the rules for this is very simple and basic. You cannot uh, stand. You cannot walk. You can be posted on one leg or the other. You can push off if you need to and go forward or back or whatever direction you want. And strikes are allowed. So if we're here, if we want to just add some strikes, it's all allowed. Now, when a student here loses, uh, we, we have a sense of repercussions. Every time they lose, they owe what's called 10 reps of the basic seven. That's uh, 10 reps of push-ups, sit-ups, squats, jump lunges, jump squats, bridge with knees, and plyometric push-ups. Every time they lose, it stacks up against them for however long that we do it. Well, we don't just do like you know, three rounds and we're done. We, it, do, if, we, if we spend time to spar, we usually spend more than an entire hour. So the points can stack up on them if they lose too much, and it sucks. But it does force you to have to be motivated and develop your skill. Yeah. 